Yeah. Yeah. And and Judy took this man yeah. away. What what? what how, I you know I almost I'm always at a loss for words. I mean how how do you <laughs> how do you not want to wring her neck yourself? I do. <laughs> um, I just I can't understand why she would do this. I just I. I can't wrap my head around it. Like, I don't know what would have made her get to that point of doing that. Why couldn't she have just moved on with her life? Like, it would have been so easy for her to just move on. Uh, it just, it, it hurts. It hurts me that, that she did, obviously, that she did this, but that it's just it, the way she did it, just everything about it. I don't, it's, it's so confusing to me and hard for me to understand, and that's part of the hurt, is the just trying to figure out why when there really isn't an explanation. And I'll never, never get an answer to why. Jenny Hutt, go ahead. Yeah, well, number one, I want to speak to what Dr. Drew was saying before about his giving you his stuff and his will. I, I think Travis loved you. I think yeah. that was yeah. real, that was love. Yes. And, and I, I wonder if you think, Deanna, that had things not turned out this way, had there not been this homicidal maniac named Jody, that there might have been a future with Travis, even though you guys were apart. For us, um, romantically, no. I, and, I, and I know that now. And I knew at the time when we broke up, like, it was, it was over for us in that sense. Uh, we were still friends. We were friends before we started dating, and we remained friends after, too. And I, I loved him. He was an important part of my everyday life. And one of the things, too, that they bring up his childhood a lot and how the, the way he was raised, that caused issues and made him abusive towards Jody. And that's not true. He did have some issues from his childhood growing up, but those issues were issues of commitment and, and, and allowing someone to love him. And so I, I think that that really was the issue that he had and he, not being abusive, he didn't, he didn't get that from his upbringing. What he got was the, the issues with commitment and being able to to feel maybe like he deserved love from someone. And that fits, and that really fits with his history. Uh, Christy, I wonder if we should ask Deanna the question you asked last night about what she thinks he would want. Yeah, I, I mean, well, there were two things I wanted to ask. One was, how did you prepare yourself to be in the same room with Jody? Mm. Uh, because that, that had to be so hard to sit on the stand knowing she was sitting there scrutinizing everything you said. And two, you know, we've heard so much from Chris and Skye talking about what a compassionate man he was and how he didn't want to, he, he fought so hard not to hurt her. How do you think he would feel right now? What would you think, what do you think he would want to happen to her now? That's another thing that makes me so sad is that he was. He was so compassionate. He always gave people the benefit of the doubt. He didn't want to believe that there was so much evil in someone that they could do this. And I, I know that he, he, wanted to, he wanted to help her. I know that he would have wanted to, you know, just, just not, be, not be that person who she's trying to say that he is. And um, as far as what he would want to happen to her now, um, I, I'm not sure. All that I know is that if this had happened to one of his friends, if Jody had killed a friend of his, he would have wanted her to have the death penalty. Okay, that, speak, that speaks volumes. And I, and I really do feel like you know this man, so we will assume that would be Travis's point of view. Mark, go ahead. What do you got for Deanna? You know, Deanna, the more I get to know you, the more I see how opposite you are from Jody. Yeah. Um, my question is, yeah. what was it about Travis that caused him not to want to embrace the warning signs when Chris and Skye say, look, you got to stay away from this girl. She is not what you think. He resisted it. What is it about his character that caused him to want to stay with her? What do you think? It's like I was saying before, like he, like he wanted to give people the benefit of the doubt. He wanted to see the good in people. And so he would, 
he would ignore those bad things and just look at the good things. Plus, she was giving him tons of attention, and I think that he liked that, and that he liked the attention that he was getting from her. So I think that's part of the reason why he stayed with her. And Deanna, I think you're zeroing in on his inability to commit and receive love is really a key thing here. When people have been traumatized like he was, they confuse intensity for love, they confuse sex for love, they, they sort of gap through their difficulty accepting love with physicalities and things, and that's exactly what she took advantage of. Well, Deanna, I, I just want to thank yeah. you from all... Go ahead. You want to, I'll give you the last word here, and I want to thank you for joining us. But go right ahead. What would you like to say finishing up here? Just on that note, it just makes me... Again, it just breaks my heart because I think that eventually he would have got to that point. I think that he would have been able to, to find love and get married and have a family. But she took that away from him. She took everything away from Deanna. And I think with friends like you in his life, I think there's no doubt he would have gotten there. All right, my dear.